Contes come in many, many different types from uh, black to brown to red. This is a color that I like a lot. And this is um, technically in the, I don't know if you can see if I zoom in on it. Um, if not, I can, I can send you a better picture of this. But this is in Conte's pastel um, quality. It's in, they have what's called a Conte crayon, a typical Conte crayon, and then they make a whole series of these pastels. They're almost indistinguishable. This one is um, number, number 17, the color. Every color has a different number. You find that down here on this part of the pencil. And number 17, I like a lot to work together with graphite. One of the things we can do with the Conte pencil is start with a very light undertone drawing to construct basic contour of a form. You know, we might have a little form and space happening here. But what this is building is a drawing that essentially puts together a lot of the very kind of basic shapes. You, when you set up a figure drawing or really any drawing for that matter, you're gonna start with basic shapes and you're gonna allow those basic shapes to kind of construct the form. So I think a lot of you can see what I'm doing a little a little study of like a still life study of a pair. And it's a favorite subject of mine for those of you that know, I can start to bring in a sense of background. But the interesting thing is that when you, when you work with this kind of very light yellow brown, all I need to do is a slight squint of the eyes and the whole drawing seems to disappear into the page because it's as a color, the darkest I can go with full saturation and blowing that off a little bit. You can see that color there, that's about as dark as I can be. And it's really still very light um, in comparison to some of the other, um, the other mediums that we use. So for instance, you can see that I'm able to go for a while with this drawing and yet with squinting the eyes just a little bit, the drawing just kind of disappears. Once you work though like this, what's nice is it gives you a, kind of an underpainting or an underdrawing where everything's been worked out that I can, I can very easily um, change the contour of things. If I need to, I can um, bring that contour out. I can bring this one in a little bit if I want, make this a little narrower and just again, correct edges. So all of that correction type of work and what we call the searching work, is being done with this lighter material. And then with pencil, I have three pencils, a, a, an HB, a B, and then a very high dark one, the 8B. And what's nice is I can come up to an area like this and with the graphite pencil, I can start getting into that thing that some of us like to do, which is sort of that picking away and finding detail within those edges. Now, in terms of mixed media, what's nice is eventually the graphite will simply take over this whole zo zone and the yellow will just seem to drop away and become almost a paper tone. As if we don't, you know, we won't really see it as strongly. It will feel like a off-white piece of paper in the end. And so you can see the pencil, the graphite is much clearer as a medium. I'm going to be able to go in and really crisp up and sharpen edges. And when I do that, the focus is going to increase or the sense of focus. And so now I'm able to make this section of the drawing that I'm working on and picking away with the focal point, more or less and other areas of the drawing just are left much more gestural. Now, it would be kind of a, an odd composition if only this area was the focal point. So what I might do is establish a focal point and then establish a secondary focal point somewhere else so we can actually jump around 
and bring these um, these mediums together in that way. I would typically start with the harder of the pencils, in this case, the HB, and then I would move towards a softer pencil, which would be the B le level. In this case, this is just a B pencil, so I'm gonna be able to go a little bit darker and fuller with my value. And again, if I pick away, I can kind of bring more feeling of volume to in a certain area of the drawing versus the other areas that are much more loosely handled. Every so often when you're drawing like this with Conte underneath and then graphite, the Conte is not really adhering to the page the way the graphite is. The graphite is actually kind of slightly greasy almost and it, it has that metallic quality where it really rubs in to the fibers of the page. And so with that in mind, the Conte is sort of sitting on the surface like a powder, a pastel powder. It rubs away really easily. And so in terms of building a drawing where we want the two to work together, what you are gonna notice is that as the pencil builds up more and more, the graphite, the Conte is going to almost get wiped away or disappear more and let the pencil become the major um, focal medium. So. This is kind of that idea of mixed media, the idea of starting more loosely and then allowing focus to continue and build. And the more that you, um, more time that you have, the more devotion you give to a certain area, the more time you allow that to develop, the sharper and more complete that area will become. And areas that are left less drawn or um, drawn with a little bit more of a, a beginning stage rather than the completion stage are going to remain um, there, but they're going to remain supportive to the main focal point. Um, in the end, what's uh, what you'd want to do with this kind of drawing when it's finished is you would want to spray it with a fixative because you do want to make sure that the Conte, even though it's underneath the pencil, the pencil's not really going to hold it to the paper. You're going to have to add some um, fixative to keep that Conte from rubbing away as that drawing ages and as it um, goes into storage or comes out of storage or gets framed. I think once it's framed under glass, it's pretty safe. Um, but that's just one way to work multiple mediums in a very simple way. And the compatibility is such where because the pastel is a dry medium that's powdery and the graphite has that silvery metallic quality, the graphite will stick nicely on top of the Conte. What, what you will find with this medium, and I can show you over here, is that if I was to start with the graphite and build it up really full, the Conte really won't stick on it. The Conte will stick on the paper itself, but it really won't stick on the graphite because the graphite is slippery. It's a bit silvery, it's a bit metallic. And so um, the dry media will not adhere onto that other media, but it will go the other direction.